Writer-artist Bill Everett created Namer and first appeared in April 1939 in Motion Pictures Funnies Weekly produced by comic book packager Funnies Inc. He created Namer on idea based on Johnny Storm who can manipulate fire, Johnny Storm is created by Carl Burgos. Bill played with the notion of fire and water and nautical and having to deal with the sea which factored in creation of Namer. The rhyme of Ancient Mariner is the major influence in creating Namer. The name Namer is created by using the backward letters of Roman. The idea for giveaway to Motion Pictures Funnies Weekly fell through he approached Marvel Comics with his idea. The final panel of eight-page comic book had a continued next week with a sans font. Emperor Thaker's daughter Fenn and U.S. Navy Captain of the Oracle Leonard McKenna's both got married, Fenn was sent to spy on humans and without the knowledge of this Leonard married her, but the Emperor attacked the Oracle and seeming killed Leonard and brought back Fenn to their underwater kingdom, after few months Fenn gave birth to a pink-skinned baby and named him Namor. Namor became the Prince of Atlantis and warrior for his people against the surface dwellers. After some point, people of Atlantis relocated and bulled a new kingdom at the Pacific Northwest when Namor was still a child. He befriended a young girl named Sandy Pierce who is a daughter of Henry Pierce, a wealthy bus in Esmond. T this time. Namor met his cousin Namora named after him. Now teenage Namor reconnected with Sandy revealing his identity to her and starting a relationship. Namor struck a deal with Henry Pierce of supply oil to his rig, which is in troubles. Oil is leaking from the seafloor into Atlantis and Namor used this to make a deal with Henry. Namor's cousin Beamer attacked Sandy and the oil rig to discredit the prince among the Altanians. The oil which is leaking is treatening to poison them Atlanteans again relocated to South Pacific Ocean with Sandy deciding to join them but later somehow disappeared. Namor becomes friends with New York City Police Betty Dean in 1939, Betty pleaded Namor to help the Allies' effort against the Axis powers during World War II. He denied her plea initially but decided to join the Allies in the fight against Nazis. Namor formed a superhero team named Invaders with Captain America, Bucky, and the original Human Torch after the attacking on Pearl Harbor which made America join the World War II in 1941. The team went to Wakanda and met its ruler King T'Chaka. Namor and T'Chaka both joined forces and fought enemies, traitors, and saved kidnapped allies from their respective kingdoms. After fighting the genus on Stony Plain, Alberta, Namor was injured. He was later found in Fantastic Four issue 4 in a flop house in Manhattan and lost his memories. After gaining his memory back, he learned that Atlantis has been attacked by nuclear testings. Namor was enraged and vows revenge on humanity. But after several superheroes saved Atlantis in Fantastic Four issue numbers 69 and 14, he finds his people and launches an attack with a failure. Namor fought Avengers at two occasions and lost. He even met his war buddy and now turned opponent Captain America and caught up with world events. After returning to Atlantis, Namor married his royal cousin Lady Dorma. The evil princess Lyra of Lemuria replaces herself with Lady Dorma to usurp Namor from his kingdom. Due to Lyra's ramifications, Princess Dorma dies. In 20, because of his unusual genetic heritage, Namor is unique among both ordinary humans and Atlanteans. He is sometimes referred to as Marvel's first mutant. Because, while the majority of his observed superhuman powers come from the fact that he is a hybrid of human and Atlantean DNA, his ability to fly cannot be explained by either side. Bill Everett, in his first Submariner story, described the character as an ultra-man of the deep who lives on land and in the sea, FLIs in the air, and has the strength of a thousand surface men. Namor has the ability to swim at superhuman speeds, even by Atlantean standards. He has greater longevity than a normal human being. He is nearly 100 years old, but has the appearance of a male in his prime. In all his incarnations, Namor possesses superhuman strength and, with the possible exceptions of Orca and Tyrak at their full sizes, is the strongest Atlantean ever known. The exact level of his strength is dependent upon his physical contact with water, in which he needn't be submerged. Some stories have mentioned that Namor has gills for breathing underwater, for example, in Namor, the Submariner No. 5, Namor thinks this New York River water burns my gills and scalds my lungs. And artists such as Salvador La Roca have drawn him with gill slits on either side of his neck. Marvel has repeatedly identified Namor as Marvel's first mutant, which is accurate when describing first appearances in print.
However, he is not the oldest mutant within the fictional Marvel Universe timeline. A number of mutants predate him, including Selene, Apocalypse, Exodus, Wolverine, Mystique, and Destiny. Tenek Huerta was cast to portray Namor in November 2020 for the MCU film Black Panther.